What's up, YouTube? This is JP Panther back with a video. And today's video is actually uh, a breaking news uh, video, to be honest with you guys. Again, I know some of you guys send this to me on Twitter and stuff like that. And uh, we're about to just kind of get into it right now. And let's dive deep into it right now. See? Uh, this is a big, big deal because it's trending on social media, stuff like that. So Disney fires back at Black Widow. Again, if you guys don't know the whole entire thing, whatever, I'll just kind of give you a sum up. So Scarlett Johansson, you know, the chick who plays Black Widow, the hot-ass chick, she is suing Disney for the whole uh, Disney Plus release and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to link them in the article in the description box down below. Some of you guys might not know, but again, it's been trending on social media and stuff like that. So... Um, it's been all over the internet, so that's a big, big deal. So, uh, so the whole big thing is that um, with Scar Joe and stuff like that, she's suing Disney because I guess what it is in the contract is that, she, like her, the way her contract is that she could have got back ends. She got could have got back ends, and then she chose the box. Like she could have got an upfront deal for Disney Plus. But then she got like a back end, deal, like she did the back end deal thing. So if the movie does well in the box office, let's say you make like 800, 900 million, she will get like 50 plus million, stuff like that, like a lot more royalties and stuff like that. The movie flopped. I'm mean, really, as long, listen, all these people keep on saying that, oh, it made money during co uh, post COVID and stuff like that. It's a flop. And it shows you that anime manga is kicking her ass. It shows you that Demon Slayer is just destroying everything. It's pretty bad how a Demon Slayer anime movie is destroying a movie like Black Widow. So if you don't know the whole entire thing, Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney for money, pretty much aka really for more money. It's really rich people problems to be honest with you. But again, this is the fall of the MCU. This is the fall of Disney. This is the fall of the Empire. And honestly, I'm enjoying it right now. Again, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is because I really want to see how far uh, this is going to go. And also shows you that Marvel's not the same Marvel. And again, you kind of knew Scar Joe this was going to happen because let's be honest, right? And I know she took, supposedly she took the back and deal. Again, I'm not. A lawyer and stuff like that, so I don't know how all these legal contracts work. I mean, you probably got to find other YouTubers who can break it down much better than I do because I'm just a guy on YouTube, so I, <laughs> you know, regular guy on YouTube. I don't really know about the laws and back deals and stuff like that, but pretty much she filed her uh, lawsuit in, uh, I guess, California, stuff like that. Also, the thing is that uh, her lawyer pretty much says that, you know, with this, you know, with not getting the Disney Plus, you know, money, whatever, she's going to lose like 50 million. They want like over 50 million and they're going to take them to court. And again, this is another article that popped up. So Disney fires back at Scarlett Johansson and uh, lawsuit sat in dis uh, discretion. And the, in the court of the, uh, the court documents following what Scarlett Johansson this Thursday, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm trying to read exactly what it is, is that uh, Disney said in a fiery statement, the lawsuit is, is especially sad and discretioning and is cautiously discarding for the horrific uh, uh, global effects of the COVID-19. The company went on to state that the star has received $20 million for her work and argued that the release of Black Widow has significantly enhanced her ability to earn additional compensation on top of the 20 she has received. Disney did not provide any information whether or not Scarlett Johansson's pace was re Go, uh, renegotiate it so that she could share in streaming rental revenue and stuff like that and you know they talk about the other stuff with Corella and Jungle Cruise and stuff like that again you guys can read the whole entire article but I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts about not even my quick thoughts is that it is just crazy how like even someone like Dis a corporation like Disney, which is a billion dollar corporation, can't even get their actors or at least former actors on together and honestly Scarlett, she's gonna be kind of screwed, man. Because even let's say she, because problems with Disney, what I read is that Disney has like one of the best lawyers, like teams on the planet. And Scarlett, she has money. Don't get it wrong, she's rich as hell. But she also lives a very, very expensive lifestyle. She doesn't have no social media stuff like that. She's with that white boy Colin from Saturday Night Live. I mean, think about it. He makes like a hundred, probably fifty thousand. That ain't crap compared to like her millions of dollars she make. And I think she's about to have a baby or something like that. I mean, so she's like pregnant again or stuff like that with the the white boy. So that's a whole big thing. Blah blah blah. And honestly, ScarJo, she might lose this lawsuit, and she does. She's definitely gonna have to pay even more money. Number one, and number two. She's gonna get even if she wins the case or not wins the case. She's gonna be blacklisted in Hollywood because think about it. Disney owns like Fox, all these other properties, owns a lot of like 
Hollywood, pretty much runs like 45% of Hollywood. Then you got like, you know, Warner Bros., your Universal, stuff like that. They're not going to want to work with her because they're like, why we will work with you if you're just going to sue us just like Disney? And Disney's like the king of Hollywood, or at least former king, because right now the ant- the Japanese are taking over right now. It's like that We DJ Cali. We taking over one C at a time. It's the same kind of like, you know, uh, theme and stuff like that but like they're just thinking like okay scar joe why will we work with you when you're gonna sue us maybe she might do some netflix thing or something small but those million dollar papers she ain't getting at no more i mean it depends what happens in a lawsuit but again a lot of youtubers are talking about it i want to do a video as soon as i got home about it again i saw it you know when i was you know working and stuff like that and uh when i was outside i was like oh scar joe hands is trending and I think one of you guys sent it to me as well. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, she's suing Disney. I mean, dude, it was on CNBC, Yahoo Finance. So I really want to see how this is going to go. Because, again, I know the courts are backed up because of COVID and stuff like that. So certain cases are going to be, like, pushed back. But I, you could tell the judges they're going to start being doing this case because it's all over there right now. You feel me? And it's just crazy how, like, even, like, right now, like, Again, I'm not a He-Man guy. The whole Kevin Smith thing just died out, just wout disappear. Because Scar Joe, this is much bigger story than He-Man and the Masters. Because this is Disney, Marvel, Black Widow. The movie's still in theaters. Yeah, the movie's still in theaters. I think it's like 4,000 theaters. And then they're going to have Jungle Cruise, I think, comes out tonight. Premiere-wise, you know, I guess early access. And then, you know, like, preview showing, whatever. And then they're going to have... Uh, you know, comes out officially tomorrow, stuff like that. But it's crazy, man. The times we live in, it's just amazing. And we'll see what happens, man. Tell me what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comment section below. I know this is kind of a long video, but I feel like this is very, very necessary because, trust me, we're going to have more videos like this. Because, again, we got well, everyone's going to pay attention to this. I'm going to pay attention to this. And, honestly, I kind of want to say that I was right, man. I was right that anime manga is going to take over. I was right that Disney is now, not only did they have to deal with the anime stuff and COVID and, all, and the, the government lockdown, whatever, now they got to deal with their own family member scar johansson and it kind of shows that family crap you know they're like oh disney and marvel we're like a family blah, blah blah they're only family when the check starts drying up that's what it is man it's all business they ain't no family they front on for the camera but when the money starts drying up or they don't get the amount of money they want boom lawsuit i'm just happy that hey disney has a lot on their plate right now and they just recently did like hawkeye i guess it's coming out uh november november 24th or something like that uh, i'll probably do a video about that but that's not gonna be a very very long video but it just shows you man like yo disney got a lot to deal with man they got the lawsuit they got my hero my villain academia like they just got a lot to deal with right now and honestly the scar joe is way more important than my villain academia and stuff like that because right now i mean they're gonna have a lawyer team and stuff like that deal fit in court but still man they got a lot on their plate right now disney is in the spotlight and they don't like bad pr that's one of the things that uh, if you guys know about how disney is they like to keep things under the the radar but hey it is what it is tell me what you guys think about this let me know in the comment section below make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel peace and have a great day and take care